Our Luke Jones joining us tonight here in studio with a closer look at these numbers. Luke. Yeah, rent jumped almost 8% in a single year in greater Cincinnati. Local landlords say there's a housing shortage, so of course prices are higher. Others are convinced the price surge is down to greed. Every year, it's time for Jessica Thompson to pack up and move. Once they said 2000, we just knew we could not afford that with everything else. In just two years, the mother of four has had to move twice, all because of rising rent. My first place for a three bedroom was 1500. They went up on rent to 1800 and that's lease. And that's far from unusual. A Zillow analysis finds rent jumped 7.9% year to year in greater Cincinnati. That's higher than any other US metro area. Last year, Cincinnati claimed the number one spot in a Redfin analysis with an almost 39% rent increase. The cause of this is corporations and individuals, and even in a lot of cases, governments, putting profit before people. But Pat Crowley with the Apartment Association, which represents landlords, says the prices are beyond their control. We're not trying to do anything to drive those prices up. Uh, it's just a reflection of where the market is right now. And right now, he says demand for housing is greater than supply. Our market studies show we're about 7,500 units short in greater Cincinnati for what we need. Now, we have members out there hustling every day, every week, trying to bring more supply on. But Haley Powell is skeptical and wouldn't mind seeing some form of rent control. You cannot cap rent in Ohio or Kentucky at a state level. In my opinion, you know, local governments need to try to figure out a way to work around that. And while Cincinnati has the highest rent increases, we're nowhere near the highest rents. That distinction goes to San Jose, California, where the typical rent is more than $3,300.